Okay, let's look at their examples. It says convert 824 milliliters to liters. Again, you're going from milliliters to liters, so you have to go left one, two, three positions. So just take a decimal and move it left three positions, which is the same thing as dividing by a thousand. Let's look at their example here. It says example 11, convert four liters to 32 milliliters to liters. Well, we already have four liters. We don't need to mess with that. So it's gonna be four liters plus whatever we get in terms of liters for 32 milliliters. So we need to convert 32 milliliters to liters. How do we do that? Well, let's look here. I'm gonna use some colors, milliliters to liters. Milliliters to liters, we learned that it's already one, two, three places to the left. So if I move that one, two, three places to the left, and remember you would have to add that zero in there, it would be 0 0.032 milliliters. Or sorry, not milliliters, 0 0.032 liters is what it is when we convert it. So what is four liters and 32 milliliters? It's four liters plus 0 0.032 liters, which would be 4.032 liters. That would be the conversion in terms of liters. This one says convert two kiloliters, 167 liters to liters. So we already have liters. So the question is blank kiloliters is how many liters plus the 167 liters we already have, right? Okay. So the question is what is two kiloliters in terms of liters? Well, I'm going to use some colors here. I'm going to go back to the map. Kiloliters to liters, let's figure it out. So from kiloliters to liters, it looks like I moved to the right three times, which is the same thing as multiplying by a thousand or just take that decimal point with that two at, and move that decimal point three units to the right, so it'd be one, two, three zeros, so that'd be 2,000 liters. Two kiloliters is 2,000 liters. So the total that we would have would be 2,000 liters plus 167 liters, which is 2,167 liters. Okay. So metric conversions, all you're doing is moving the decimals. If you know King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, you now can do all conversions for metric. Now we're about to enter the hell zone. The hell zone is exactly why the metric system exists. What if we try to trade between countries? Well, if I'm measuring in feet and you're measuring in meters, we're going to have some big, big issues because we're not speaking the same language, so to say. We're not using the same unit. And that's why the metric system was created is because what they wanted was nice numbers that everyone uses. So everyone's on the same page. If you're talking about the length of something, it's gonna be measured as the same length, using the same units as the measure of length that I'm using. And everyone in the world, except for three countries was like, yep, I'm on board, let's talk the same. Of course, who wasn't the best of the best, which would be the United States. We weren't on board and we kept our own system. So when we want to convert to them, it is a royal pain in the ass. So let's look at this. It says convert between US customary units and metric units. So what do we know for sure? We know that one inch is exactly 2.54 centimeters. Everything else from there on out, if you notice, uses an approximation sign. Why? Because when they've done the conversions, when you go from one inch to, or sorry, meters to feet, there's more decimals than 3.28 using this one inch is 2.54 centimeters. They've just rounded it to two decimal places so we don't have to keep on going out because it would be a lot further and a lot worse. So what I need you to do is I need you to use these numbers right here. If you don't use these numbers and you use something else, for instance, if you have a conversion software on your um, phone, there's a lot of conversion apps, right? If you use Google to do conversions, you will not get the right answers in these sections. And the reason you won't get the right answers is because your phone or Google uses more decimal places. We are using the decimal places rounded to two decimal places. So please, please, please be careful with that. Do not use anything other than the conversions you see here. 
So how do we do these problems? We go back to our ladder and these are our conversion ratios. Um, again, I would be putting these on my note card for sure. So it says the price of gasoline is $3.89 per gallon. Find the cost per liter. So we have it's $3.89 for one gallon and they wanna know the cost per liter. So we need to go from gallons to liters. So how do we do that? We'll just look at this from gallons to liters is given to us. It's an approximation, but we're gonna use that approximation. We know that one gallon is approximately 3.79 liters. Now, why did I put it there? Because I needed my gallons to cancel. So when I do that mathematically, I have 3.89 times one on top, and then I have 3.79 on bottom. Notice my units now would be dollars on top and liters on the bottom. So it's dollars per liter. Go ahead and do this, and what are you getting? And it says round to the nearest tenth of a cent. So tenth of a cent, um, cent is two decimal places in terms of dollars, right? So I'm getting 1.02, and then it's t that would be cents, but then it's tenth of a cent, so we have to add one more decimal place. So if I round it properly, I'm getting 1.026, and that's dollars per liter. So why did they have us round to a tenth of a cent or three decimal places? If you ever go to a gas station, that's what they always do. When your gas is $2.14 a gallon, it's really 2.14, and then they put a little nine up there. That's nine-tenths of a cent. 